Hi friends, we are continuing queues management in Blue Prism RPA. So I have data in Excel sheet, yes I have only two records. Now I am downloading the data into Blue Prism, like a collection table, you can see collection stage and then if I run it, data will transfer to the collection stage. So now you can see like two records here. Then let me add, add them into queue. So for this one, choose an action and then add them into queue. Then business object like work queues, add it to queue. And then let me assign a work, uh, work, work queue name in control system tab. Work queues, click on new. Let me assign a name for this one like a work queue. Apply and then go to studio. And keep the work queue name is in double quotes. and drag and drop the collection and outputs and then click on shortcut and it's red. So I have created one work queue in on the, on the system tab. Now we can control them. We can maintain the queues under control tab. So here is our work queue and you can see under work queue is an empty. If I run this process, the two items from the collection table to, well, we'll, we'll go to like a queue. So run it. Then go back to control room. Now we can see two items are added to the queue. And you can see the status means like you can see like a four types of status here. If you see like like three blue dots means like the the cases are under pending. And if you see like an exceptions fail, or else you can do it manually. And padlock means you know locked and no one can know nobody can access that one. So if you see the check mark means it's completed. The case is completed. Then go back to process. Now I am using like one more action stage. That is get next item. And choose the this internal BVO like uh, BVO called like work queues. And then use the get next item. The queue name. Work queue. And put in double quotes. Then outputs, you can select an item ID, then collection, and drag and drop the item table here, and then click on shortcut, link the stages. Reset it. Okay, let me run up to this one. So run to this stage. So if you observe here, the information is transferred to collect from Excel to collection table. And then now if 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 the process is passed this stage, we will automatically add it to queue. Okay, let me run up to this one, run to this stage. Now it's added to queue. We'll go back to the control room. Now you can select two more items were added. And 
next one I'm going to lock like a one item the first item and automatically right now the information the table is showing like in two rows the like two records and one record is going to be locked so let me run up to this stage run to this stage now you can see one record was no is removed and then go back to control room Now you can say one item what lock. And let me add one more stage call like a mark completed. Drag and drop the action stage. Then select business object like work use and choose mark completed. Then item ID, drag and drop the item ID here. Then output, so no issue. And then click on link, link the stages, then reset it, then run it. Then go back to control room. Now you can see like you know one one item got uh, completed. So go to process. Suppose if you like to view the total queues in your pro, in your blue prism, use one more stage. Total queues and choose business object work queues and then so get queue names output is a collection so link it. So reset it and then run it. Now you can see the total queue names here.